morning. My name is Mary Allen, the Community Development Manager with the City of Casa Grande. We are here today to highlight an owner-occupied housing rehabilitation project. We are so happy with this project. It was a total um, gut job from the beginning and it has turned into a fabulous project. We receive our funding through the Arizona Department of Housing as well as HUD CDBG funding. So today we are doing a ribbon cutting at our most recent completed project and I'd like to introduce our family, Paul and Ann Bell. Thank you very much. I want to thank people involved with this. Uh, we were at uh, dire needs. Our roof collapsed on us. We had a record amount of rain a year and a half ago, like October. And, uh, and lack of maintenance in my roof. Homeowners in church to guide my plane. So we applied. And with the help of my son, and my family, we got this going through the city. And thanks to uh, Deanna Bell, she started the process, the paperwork to begin with. I want to really thank her. She's got it here right now. And of course you, thank you so much. Felicia, Jessica, Brandon, uh, Cara, all the people involved with them, Brandon with Cara, uh, the mayor, and of course my daughter and my family, my son. Pretty much said it all, but yeah, this house was this house was dangerous, and uh, we didn't even really realize how dangerous it was until they started gutting it and finding out the you know, support groups around the And you know that kind of killed us. That's not what we're saying. You know, and uh, we had no means of being able to do this at all. And without all of your help. This would not have happened. Next, I would like to introduce Brendan and Jessica with VBAR. VBAR is a consultant contractor with the city of Casa Grande who develops our scope of work and helps us with the contract bids and helps us develop these projects. I'm Brandon, uh, principal owner of BBAR. This is Jessica, our lead designer with BBAR. Uh, this project was interesting because we had a, a pretty bad scenario to start. Um, we had to be a little bit creative with this and that's where Jessica came in. Um, I'll let her talk about that in just a little bit. Uh, I want to say that we all work very hard together, um, not just the city of Casa Grande, Cara, the contractors, all of us working together to come up with this finished product. So basically all major systems had failed in this house. Uh, when the roof failed and we had heavy rains, the, the water infiltrated the entire uh, interior portion of the house. Um, ceilings had collapsed. Uh, the interior wall structures had mold, they deteriorated, rotted. Um, talking about that clean slate, what we ended up having to do was really just gut this entire thing out. That's all the interior walls, all the ceilings, even portions of the roof structure. Um, so when we came in, we wanted to work with, with Joe and, and Boysian um, to come up with the best solution for the family. We want to make sure that these houses are, are going to be good for this family for not just 10 years, but 15, 20. Um, you know, a lot of years to come. So what we ended up doing was making sure that we came up with a with the design plan again, working with everybody uh, to come up with the best solution. And what we found was that if we restructured the format of the house, um, added that extra bathroom that that they needed, um, and and kind of working and making sure that all of those things came came together, uh, we could provide the best final product for them. So. We came in, uh, redid all those interior walls, uh, redid the floor plan, started basically from the ground up, plumbing all the way up to the roof and, and AC, so, and everything in between. There was a lot of um, code issues that we had here, uh, a lot of safety issues, and, and safety is always, yeah, always number one for us. Um, so the electrical and plumbing that we had, we had to make sure that was taken care of. And fortunately, because of that clean slate, we were able to come in, and with the help of Joe and Cara and you guys, uh, we ended up with a very good final product. Well, the thing was, we couldn't move any of the windows, so that was really hard. Um, we just spent hours trying to figure it out and working with Anne with things she didn't want in the house. Um, a useless pantry that was hidden behind a giant armoire. So it was just, it was just amazing to do. <laughs> like I. I'm so proud of this job. I'd like to introduce our contractors, Lance Boygen and Joe Peterson. 
Will you guys tell us a little bit about what you did in the house? Well, we started out with uh, gutting the entire house because there was a mold issue. And so we abated all the mold, we cleaned all the walls, washed them, painted them. And we built new schematics and then we uh, added a foam insulation, open cell up on the ceilings and the walls. We put new tile, new uh, HUD rated uh, cabinets. They're all wood, soft close hinges. We put marble walls because they last longer. So we try to make it to where the house is. It's going to save them money in the long run. Not just in energy efficiency, but in, in, in the major cost of running a house. If something breaks, you know, we don't want to put in uh, inexpensive items because so they break easy and so they have to replace them, which costs more money for the whole one. When I designed uh, doing the construction, we also incorporate weatherization and energy efficiency into the construction. Whether it's an older home or a new home, um, we kind of treat it the same. So we try to make sure that uh, when these homeowners move into these older homes, they can afford their utility bill because uh, they're on a certain budget, which is you know, what our goal is, and to keep the energy efficiency down, and then uh, they're not struggling to maintain it. And uh, by doing that, the equipment lasts longer because um, it's not working harder. Uh, the, it uh, works together with the system. And then our ductwork is also in conditioned space. So in some attics, a lot of the ductwork is in the attic where it can be very hot and uh, it's not insulated very well. So they have a really good system here now with the ductwork inside and um, it'll save them energy. Next, I'd like to introduce Josh Bell. He is the homeowner's son, a family member. Josh, tell us what you think of the house. I think the house is just gorgeous, it's beautiful, I love it. It looks a lot better than it was before, when everything was old. We had like teeny space in here. Do you feel like you have more space now? And I do we got more space because it's bigger, it's more efficient. We never had this before, but I also like to think this is your across the ground, did you a good job, and my thing is close to them.